Most sacrilegious murder have broke over the Lord's anointed temple and stole the life from the building. What is it you say the life? Mean you his majesty? Approach the chamber and set your sight on a new Gorgon. Oh, do not bid me speak. See and then speak yourselves. Awake! Awake! Ring the alarm bell! Murder and treason! Banquo! Malcolm! Awake! Oh, shake off this downy sleep. Death's counterfeit and look on death itself. Up, up, and see the great doom's image. Malcolm, Banquo, as from your graves rise up and walk like sprites to countenance this horror. Ring the bell! What's the business that such a hideous trumpet calls to call me the sleepers of the house? Speak, speak! Oh, gentle lady, it is not for you to hear what I can speak. The repetition in a woman's ear would murder as it fell. Oh, Banquo, Banquo! A royal master's murdered! Oh, oh, alas! What in our house? So cruel anywhere. I prithee, contradict thyself and say it is not so. Had I but died an hour before this chance, I had lived a blessed time. For from this instant, there is nothing serious in mortality, all is but toys. Renown and grace is dead. The wine of life is drawn, and the mere lease is left this long to break off. What is the mess? You are. You do not know it. The fountain, the head, the, the spring of your blood is stopped. The very source of it is stopped. Your royal father is murdered. By who? Those of his chambers, it seemed, to die. Their hands and faces were all badged with blood, so were their daggers, which unwiped we found upon their pillows. They stared and were distracted. No man's life was to be trusted with them. Oh, yet I do repent me of my fury that I did kill them. Wherefore did you so? Who can be wise, amazed, tempered, and furious, loyal and neutral in an instant? No man. The expedition of my violent love outrun the pauser. Reason. Here lay Duncan, his silver skin laced with his golden blood, and his gash stabs looked like gash in nature for ruin's wasteful entrance. There the murderers, steeped in the Colors of their trade, their, their, their daggers unmannerly breached with gore. Well, who could refrain? It had a heart to love. And in that heart, courage to make some love. Oh, help me, hands, help! Look to the lady. Why do I hold my tongue? The most that I claim this argument for myself. I will let my tears are not yet brewed, nor my strong sorrow upon the foot of motion. Look to the lady. When we have our naked frailties hid, that suffer in exposure, let us meet. It's question this most bloody piece of work to know it further. Fears and scruples shake us, but in the great hand of God I stand, and thence, against the undevolved pretense, I fight of treasonous malice! And so do I! And so so do all! Let us briefly put on manly readiness and meet together in the hall. Well, I'll not consort with them. To show what unfelt sorrow is in office, the false man does easy. I'll to England. Where I am, there's daggers and men's smiles. The near in blood, the near are bloody. This murderous shaft that shot hath not yet lighted. My safest way is to avoid the aim. Wherefore, the horse. 
There's warrant in the theft which steals itself, and there's no mercy left.